What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Today we're talking about Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, what her powers are and how this is going to play into Avengers 4. If you could, grab the subscribe button. I'm giving away two PlayStation Pros as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff. All you got to do, be a subscriber here at the channel, leave a comment and a like on this video. I'm going to get into all the giveaway stuff at the end of the video as well. So, with the Captain Marvel trailer just around the corner, some have presumed that it would be this month, September, so that they can attach it to Sony's Venom release. There has been a ton of conjecture about what her powers are, what they're going to be, and how that's going to play into Avengers 4 and defeating Thanos. So let's go ahead and break this down. All right, Captain Marvel has had a couple of retellings of her origin story in the comics, and Kevin Feige is on record as saying that she's going to be one of the most powerful characters, not just Avengers, but characters that they have ever put on screen in the MCU. Now, while some of Captain Marvel's abilities are something that you would expect, some of these are absolutely insane. So of course she has superhuman strength, endurance, stamina, she can also fly and has increased her ability. She has a limited sixth sense where she can tell something's just about to happen. But the crazy part was her binary form, where she got linked to a cosmic energy source and could just absolutely obliterate people. Now, while that storyline goes on to end, she retained her binary form. So on a smaller scale, she can absorb absolutely ridiculous piles of energy and give them back. See, that's kind of the thing I think we're headed towards with the Affinity Gauntlet as well. That's why I find this pretty interesting because if she can sit there and absorb an enormous Power Stone Blast and return it, that's gonna be an absolutely insane power level and just so much greater than the rest of the Avengers that it's gonna maybe feel like a lopsided fight. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. How do you think this is gonna play out? Is a character as strong as her gonna upset the balance for the team? Also, do you think that it's interesting that they would bring a character like this in right in the last movie? Now, of course, it does continue a through line into the new cosmic universe to have one major character like this show up at the end of the initial saga. So there is a real connection there. I just thought that the timing was interesting that we haven't seen or heard of her at all in 10 years of movies. And then now, right now, at the end, we get another character, but I'm okay with it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments and let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're giving away another Iron Man plaque, Marvel Trendsetters, Marvel licensed official limited run. Each plaque contains six original film cells from the trilogy. These things are super cool. All you gotta do is be a subscriber, leave a like and comment on this video. We're also giving away two PlayStation Pros. Again, all you gotta do is be a subscriber, leave a like and comment on this video and or the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name is Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Thanks for checking out the channel and stick around because I'll be posting again real, real soon.